welcome to the fifth video which is the third principle of the four principles of searching this principle is on field search let us understand what we mean by field searching i may want to search for articles by an author or articles published in a specific journal because i just want to get an idea of what kind of articles does that journal cover or i may want to know about the publications from a specific institution do note that none of these searches is about a topic like a disease or a drug or something similar now this principle is very similar to principle 2 where we tagged our search term with mesh mesh is a descriptive tag it describes the article here the tags are all factual that is who is the author which is the journal or which is the institution from which the article was published so let's learn about these factual tags we can search for our term which could be a word or even a number in other parts of the bibliographic record in principle 2 we asked the search engine in pubmed to look for our term in the list of mesh terms here we are going to tell the search engine to look for our term in specific fields or areas of a record for example if this is one bibliographic record in pubmed we can tell the search engine to look for the term asthma in the title of the record we could say look for the word white in the author area of the record because otherwise white could be just a color white could be white cells or white matter etc we could ask for the number 1302 as the page number the number 2015 as a date of publication and so on let's look taking one term chest and see how we can tag it in different ways when we tag it in different ways we are telling pubmed to look for the word chest in those specific areas if you search as chest tagged with ti pubmed will look for the term in the title area of every bibliographic record as we learned pubmed had over 27 million records so from all those records it will find all items where the word chest comes in the title if you search as chest tiab it's going to look for the word chest in the title or in the abstract or in some cases it could be in both areas together if you searched as chest tagged with j o u r you will find your term chest in the journal title area of the bibliographic record let's go on and see some examples of each of these before we move on i'd just like to highlight that the tag could be typed in all capitals as we did in ti all small as we did in tiab or a mix of capitals and small as we did in jour your search term could also be in any case that doesn't matter here we've searched with chest tagged with ti in all three uh, results you can see the word chest coming in the title here we searched with chest tiab in this record it comes in the title as well as in the abstract in some records it may come only in the title in some it may come only in the abstract here we searched with chest tagged with j o u r you can see all the results are from the journal title chest so none of these searches were about the anatomical area chest we searched for it in the title or abstract in both cases it could have been about the area chest or it could be just containing the word chest but in areas we specified 
In this case, the third case, we searched for records from the journal title Chest. Let's see more tags. So we saw T I T I A B J O U R. Then we have chest with A U, which means we are looking for uh, items where the author's name is chest. Chest A D means the word chest will come in the author's address. For example, it could be Institute of Chest and Allied Diseases, or it could be Department of Chest Medicine followed by the name of the college. Chest mesh is a tag we already learned in principle two, but all these tags are actually fields. So we are just highlighting once again that here we are saying if we tag it with mesh, the word chest will come in the list of mesh terms. If we do not tag the word chest, PubMed is searching for the word chest in any of the areas above, except, of course, the full text, because the full text is not in the PubMed database. Let's pause for a moment and see what kind of irrelevant results we could get. If the word chest was in the journal name, the article could have been a book review on communication skills. It had nothing to do with chest. If the word chest was in the abstract, it could have been something like in the field of chest medicine, there are so many specialties. That's nothing to do with the anatomical area chest. So this is how we know that if you don't tag your term, you could get all kinds of irrelevant results. Let's see the page numbers. If I tagged 143 with page, we are looking for results where the article starts on page 143 of the journal. 2016 PDAT means it's the date of year of publication. These two tags could be substituted with PG for page or DP for date of publication. So the third principle is you can search for a term in specific fields or areas of a bibliographic record. Do note that these factual tag searches are not searches on topics, but they are searches done in specific contexts, like you may want articles from a specific journal, or you may want to know what are the publications from a specific institute. So these are the contexts in which you use principle three. Thank you, and do go on to the fourth principle, which would be the next one. Thank you.